Hello everybody, today is Tuesday, March 21st. It's 3.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's about three minutes before the regular session closed. You can see my PC clock here, the date and time. And then on my left is the time and sales, the E-mini S&P trading at 23.40.50. Quite a spectacular sell-off today. Uh, before I get into that, uh, first the required disclaimer. So pretty heavy sell-off today on the S&P 500, uh, about 40 points or more. I had a great performance on the auto trader as well. First up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick, and you can see we caught this sell-off into the close. And this doing uh, 16.30 for the day on two contracts. Quite a number of trades uh, taking just a little bit of heat at the beginning of the session, but mostly up from there. So this ending up a pretty impressive performance on the NASDAQ trading only two contracts. Okay, next up is the bonds on the 377 tick. This is trading 10 contracts. I continue to follow this. This had a spectacular performance of 4,600 on three trades, as you can see here. So uh, this did quite remarkable uh, considering all this volatility that we've had. And this is the most consistent of the bond charts that I've been following with uh, 10 contracts. The 150 tick chart trading 10 contracts did 2187. But to put the risk of trading 10 contracts into perspective, I want to show you the drawdown that it took in a couple of losing trades off the open. So this is our equity curve starting at zero, and we drew down over $4,000. So when you're swinging 10 contracts in the bonds, mind you, this is quite a lot of risk entailed in that you're, you know, you're trading size. So depending on your account size, it may or may not be a lot, but for most people it is. The volatility is substantial when you're trading a 10 lot. Okay, just to give you an idea of today's action, uh, this is my market profile chart. So we can see the last week or so here where the market kind of peaked at 2400 about a week or so ago, a little, little over a week ago. And then we had a little bit of a sell-off and then uh, tried to rebound. And then today you can see volatility here. We had a high of about 2378 or 79 and a low of 23.37 or 38, and that being about 40 points in the E-mini S&P, so about uh, 160 ticks in today's sell-off in the S&P. But with the market trading at 2,400, this represents only about 2% uh, decline. So in perspective, it's not huge. It just seems like a lot because we're in a pricey market. Okay, so in order to trade something more realistic on the bonds, I'm showing the bonds on a really small uh, Superenco chart of two ticks, but I'm using our line break module. And what I changed about this was I went from three to four line breaks, and that obviously paid off. This one has a goal of 1,500 and a loss limit of 1200 and this one hit its goal today uh, so pretty solid performance on this bonds this is only trading two contracts so this is doable for most everyone so again another line break chart as the BWT auto trader trades line break with great efficiency this one had three winning trades in a row and did 1075 on two contracts in the e-mini S&P uh, 1075 being a great gain for the day on two contracts. We continue with our line break theme. This is 2500 tick chart using our line break module. And this one did 1375 for the day on two contracts. And again, not a lot of trades, only a couple of trades here. We started off with a loser, drew down about $300 or so, and then recovered on three winning trades 
to do 1375 on just two contracts. And another line break chart. This one is relatively new chart that I'm following, but it's 2500 tick chart, uh, 2500 tick line break chart. And this, I believe, uh, I have a modest goal on this of $1,000. So this one hit its goal on just a few trades. Uh, we had one loser drawing down only about $200. Actually, we had two losers. So we had two winners and two losers, but ending up on the plus side to 975 on two contracts. And you're probably sick of line break by now, but uh, the E-mini S&P that starts trading at 1230 uses the line break logic. This had quite a few trades today, but ultimately pulled ahead 337.50, which uh, this particular chart uh, doesn't make really high gains, but it's been very consistent in uh, delivering three and four hundred dollar type days and uh, there was quite a bit of volatility uh, on this chart all over but ultimately pulled ahead with this by catching this uh, sell-off into the close and then actually countered with a little bit of a long position um, right at the very end here so this did 337.50 for the day it's pretty respectable two contracts Okay, a number of charts had modest gains of $200 or less. One of them was the uh, DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. However, not before it ran up to an equity high of about 1300 and then got caught in some choppy action in the second part of the day, but still managed to finish to the upside. That's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more, okay, we'll come back to our 2500 tick chart. That's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com.